And uh, here we are, you can see more of the Smoky Mountains down near Tennessee, right over there. Pretty cool. There's also this like a sign here. It reads, on a clear day you can see Mount Michelle, the highest peak in the eastern United States, which is 73 miles away. And it says, so it looks like right over there, but it is foggy out, so you can't see anything. Also right here, you can see the path where you walk up all the way down here to get to uh, the top. So it says, looking west, you can track the course of the North Tennessee border, most of the Great Smoky Mountain National Park, but the state boundaries are also marks the course of the Appalachian Trail, which passes just below the tower. I'll go show you that, guys, in just a second, but uh, also the trail does leave the boundaries near Gregory Bald, cutting s south through the Slutex, one of the longest footpaths in the world. The Appalachian Trail is more than 2,000 miles long between Georgia and Maine, and the spring northbound hikers are attempting to cross the entire trail, usually pauses to enjoy the view. At 6,000 feet, the Clingman Dome is the trail's highest point. Here's a little map too, showing you the trail going through the park. If you look over there, that's uh, the view that you usually see. Again, it's all foggy today. So, you can sorry for this fog today, but it is foggy. It's also, we're in a cloud technically. But also right down there is the main trailhead down there. That's where you enter this path to get to the top. And sure enough, here it is, the Appalachian Trail. I'm going to show you this. Here it is, right there. That's the path. Also, you look on that side. Some more of the trail. It's really thin, it looks like. So, again, you can hike this all the way from Georgia to Maine. And sure enough, it is getting more sunny. Everything did clear off, and it is a, looking like a very pretty day. Well, that's thanks for having us for here in uh, Chimney Domes. I think the name of it. I really forget the name. Uh, but one more shot of the mountains here because they're so pretty really cool of you you can see little rivers and creeks and stuff take a look so yeah we're here at the uh uh, Newfound Gap. It's a place with the uh, vice president, I think, Franklin Roosevelt. Actually, he wasn't vice president. Excuse me. Uh, president Franklin Roosevelt was uh, here, and he over there. Which way over there? See if I can zoom in, maybe. So I do a zoom. Yeah, there it is. And sure enough, here it is. It's very pretty out today, and you can see here a uh, very nice view. One of my favorite spots here, actually, at the park. There's another sign that says uh, the Mountain Sanctuary. Let's read it. It says the Great Smoky National Park is a sanctuary. Yes, it actually is. Okay. Uh, this is one of the few places on the eastern United States where animals protection and can live and die and uh, there are little influence from humans. And then it has a quote from some famous naturalist. So, yeah, pretty cool. Again, sure enough, it's a lesser shows another sign about the land of diversity here at the Smoky Mountain National Park. Shows like a, a slithery salamander right there, if you can see that. Also, some pink lady slipper. So, very cool. And oh, the view is just unreal. 
perfect photography moment. I'm gonna set up a time lapse camera. We're gonna get a pretty cool time lapse. Let's grab us here for uh, at I guess no Newtown Gap. Let's grab us here at Newtown Gap. Let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off with left the ground. You, you gotta understand that we get one chance, one chance. You. wraps up this episode of season number two. We're gonna go play some mini golf now. So stay tuned for that episode coming out maybe next week or maybe on Friday. I don't know when this upload schedule is going, but I'll see you then.